and you still want to potentially have a child, what the fuck is wrong with you? You got 34 children. You have 34 children. Why are you going to even subject a woman to that? And what woman is going to be dumb enough to want to sleep with you? I'm pretty sure it's going to be one that ain't got no self-esteem, but hopefully that's not the case. But for you to sit there and say that you want more kids to what? Neglect? So that way all of the other kids that you have can feel neglected even further because you sat there, you had more kids. So you're literally giving them a life that you should have gave the 34 kids that you had before them. What sense does that make? That makes absolutely no sense. And for the dumb bitch that will literally have kids with him, you're stupid. You cannot be that dumb when that man has literally so many failed relationships and so many other failed relationships that he's going to have. Because it's next to impossible for any human being to give unconditional love to all of those children. They will forever be neglected. Uh, can you vote? I cannot. The ballroom scene won't allow me. I'm banned. <laughs> um, but seriously, like, it's crazy to me that he sits there and he wants to be like, oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna get married and I'm gonna have more kids. Nigga, what? More kids? So you're gonna cause more distress in the world? Like, honestly, I feel like you know, the government wants to sit here and regulate women's bodies and talk about, oh, you can't have abortions. Honestly, I feel like if a man has an X amount of kids, he should be scheduled for a vasectomy. And I'm pretty sure if that was put into law, that there'd be a lot of men that would keep their dicks in their pants or put on a condom. Okay? Because I'm pretty sure... If, if you got the money, you could buy free time. That's what I'm saying. And, and I know there is not that many men in this world that have that much money to take care of that many kids. But even if someone, even if there was a man that was like a Nick Cannon, you cannot get, you are one person. You can't spread yourself thin. You're not going to be able to give yourself to, I want to say more than five kids. Because it's, it's just, no, because it's, I can understand if like y'all are in the same house, like, okay, five kids, okay, that, that might be easier to schedule. But if it's like 10 fucking kids, 10 kids, 10 birthdays, 10 graduations, um, 10 car accidents, maybe 10 college applications, 10 college graduations, 10 going away parties. You mean to tell me you're going to keep up with all that shit? No. Even, even if they have the money, it means they're strong and Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it depends on the amount of kids for me. Not many children except in religion. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. But, um, yeah, no, I just, uh, um, it's a no for me. It's an absolute no for me. This man, literally, like, honestly, I do feel like 
it should be law. <laughs> like, it should be law that if you are a man that is running around town, sticking your penis in every bitch walking, and she is getting pregnant, and you have an X amount of children, you should be required to get a vasectomy. Because why are you having that many kids because it is next to impossible for a working class man to take care of 10 kids. It's just, just a no. Especially if you're making 55,000. You better be making 200,000, ho. Out here fucking these girls and then being a deadbeat dad and thinking that you're still the man. You get just what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like, if anything, if if they're going to sit there and be like, you know what? No women out here getting abortions. Okay, cool. Well, men that have over a certain amount of kids should have a vasectomy. You should never, you should not, you should not ever have that many children. It is ridiculous. That's how you literally have mass murderers and rapists and all these crazy ass sociopath people because you got all of this neglect and trauma and people don't know how to handle their trauma and people want to trauma and, 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 and fuck up other people all because they got a deadbeat ass father and like all of the especially like within the black community you literally have like um, young black men that are joining like gangs or uh, well, I was never privy to that because child, I, I didn't, I didn't have that in my home. But you know, there, there is that possibility that they're gonna go seeking trouble because they're not getting the love that they require. As long as, yeah. Uh, Like I said, it's, 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 I feel like there is a limit because if we're going to be realistic, there are not many people that are going to hit $100,000. A lot of working class people are going to be in between, at best, $55,000 to $65,000 a year. And if you have a gaggle of kids, that is cutting your income in half. Because you have to think about, like, children, first of all, are super expensive. And then hospital visits are super expensive. You have to pay for so many things in order for you to make sure you have a healthy uh, child. And there is so much responsibility put into it. It's not a game. It's not a game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um... The average cost for a year for a child, I'm pretty sure it depends on the child, honestly, because if they have any type of conditions or whatever have you, it varies. But to live, I honestly do feel like you at least need twenty to thirty thousand um, dollars a year uh, for a child. Oh, for a person? Oh, so for a regular functioning working human being in america depending upon where you live but just being a general i do feel like you need to make at least like close to sixty thousand dollars um to be to keep your head above water to keep your head above water because you have to think about it um like i said cost of living has went up um you have to uh, think about food, you have to think about expenses. If you have a car, you have to think about car insurance, you have to think about inspections, depending upon where you live. What I mean by inspection, like smog in the West Coast, um, an actual car inspection in the South, and you have to pay for any type of um, repairs to be done in order for your car to be um, you know, considered drivable for the road. And then you have to also pay for a yearly um, um, what's the word, registration for your car, um, and then living. 
uh, and then living in an apartment for 60K with all of the costs to, right. And then, like I said, like the average apartment as of now, a lot of people sit there and they say, oh, like you, um, you can get a house for that. But then you have to think about it. If you're getting a house, you're paying the HOA, of course, mortgage, whatever have you. Yes, it is your property. However, you have to, you basically have to come out of pocket for a lot of things that go wrong. Like if you have, um, if you have a yard, the lawn needs to be mowed, right? Then you want your lawn to look pretty, the flowers. Um, then if you have something like, say for instance, like your stove breaks or your heater is busted, if you don't know how to fix it, you have to pay someone to fix it. So therefore, and then those things are expensive as hell, like to get someone to repair it and to also get the parts. So you have to pay for a lot of things. In an apartment, things are fixed and you're not necessarily billed unless like, if, I mean, if I if I destroy this wall, I'm pretty sure like they're going to bill me. But like if something happens with like my water, if something happens with my toilet, if something happens with my washer and dryer, because I have a washer and dryer, something happens with um, something within the house that is not of my fault, um, then they will fix it. And I won't, and it won't be added to my monthly rent. It's just going to be fixed and they comp it. So there is, pros and cons with both. But as far as a house is concerned, you need double the money than what people say. So in the Netherlands, you average. Oh my gosh, that's it. 25 to 35. Ooh, child, we could not. We Americans cannot live off of that. I wish that, bitch, I wish. Whoo, that is, wow. You're talking about a part-time job. That that type of money is for someone that is a college student at this point. <laughs> that type of money, you not getting no apartment, okay? Because apartments now, you had to make three times the rent. So that means if you are getting like a $1,400 apartment, you have to make at least $4,000 to $5,000 like if you are like absolutely not absolutely not no that's not gonna happen <laughs> i'm sorry like that is that is that is unfortunately that's play money i hate to say it but in, here in america is play money hi how are you doing i'm good um i mean you make me want to move out to the netherlands because in all honesty i probably would have way more money if that was the case because honestly, that is the life of a lot of everyday Americans. Honestly, if you want to be real, that's probably why the West Coast partially um, has a lot of homeless. Uh, the homeless popu uh, population has increased. Um, and a lot of people don't want to take that into accountability. But when you talk about houses, a, a good quality house being at least a million Okay, I'm talking about a million, a million dollars, at least, in California. That's why so many people from California are moving over here, you know, to Nevada, um, because there are people that literally are paying like a million dollars in a house and they're not even, they, they don't even have that much space. I know someone that is a regional manager for a major luxury brand that is making well over six figures, that is in a house, has three roommates, and is paying $6,000 a piece, okay? $6,000 a piece. You know what I'm talking about? Like $18,000, $20,000. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, yeah, no. I wish that I wish that Americans would be able to last off of twenty five, thirty thousand dollars. But honestly, that is not the case here. <laughs> yeah, but it's expensive. Yeah, yeah. Cause how old are you? Don't mind me asking. 
Um, so yeah, like that, that, that is the reality of America here. Um, it's, it's, there's so much, so much that's expensive. Um, you literally have to, um, look at it. listen, I would love to look like Kate Moss. If you know anything about Kate Moss, she's a supermodel. Okay. She got more money than everybody on this chat. So if I look like her. Hopefully I get a modeling contract because she is a supermodel. Like she actually is a supermodel. Like Kate Moss, the legendary Kate Moss. You know about Kate Moss. If you don't, where the fuck you been at? But um, yeah, like that is the reality of America. I don't really know too many people that can live off of uh twenty five um uh twenty five thousand dollars. Or thirty thousand. I don't know. I don't know a soul. Wait, and means who oh, child? Listen, I mm -mm. like I said here. Um, it is not. Um, yeah, you keep on grinding. It does pay off, but yeah, here it's um. I wish that I would be able to live off that. Life would be a lot easier. Um, it, you know, like, like, mm, whew, it's, yeah, no, I, Lord Jesus, that, that's a, that's a, that's, oh, Lord, yeah, makes me want to move out of the country. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, other income, a, a lot of people here also have other income sources. Um, you know, it, it helps when you do, but like, honestly, it kind of sucks because it takes away from like what is considered the American dream. Um, yeah, but I feel like, like with as much time as the average American spends at work, I feel like it's like, what the fuck is the point of life if you can't enjoy it? I'm not saying like we should not work, but at the same time, it should be a work-life balance. And if you are starting a family, you should be able to spend a lot of time with your family. You should be able to start a lot of time with your kids. You should be able to, even if you don't have family, like, I feel like it's, a, oh, thank you for that too. It should be where you are learning yourself, knowing yourself, growing, um, being involved in different extracurricular activities, um, you know, being in social groups, if you are a social person, um, basically getting to know, you know, yourself and having the best life possible. It shouldn't be where you spend more time at work than you do in your own home, especially if you have a loved one or you, hell, even if you don't have a loved one, it's just the fact that you're spending more time at work serving a billionaire or a millionaire than you are enjoying your own fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that's really sad that a lot of people have been conditioned to believe that I'm just going to work until 60 and then that's when my freedom's going to start. And it's like, well, by that time, like you are hitting a retirement age. You're not, you know, when you're 60 years old, unless you take care of yourself really well, um, you're going to have a lot of, you know, you might have mobility issues. You might um, feel free if you get to that point of retirement, because I still know people that are working in their fucking 70s. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. Um but you should be able to enjoy life and enjoy, you know, getting to know yourself and love yourself and and all of that stuff. But, you know, people are so money hungry in this country that, you know, basically your work life is your work life. And people have been conditioned to just accept it. And like people don't believe in work life balance like that anymore. Like, it seems like that's just a thing in the past. And 
you're just supposed to work really hard. And if you don't get what you want, you got to work extra hard. And then you got to kiss people's asses. And it's like, it's just like, that just, to me, just sounds like a miserable ass life. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you want to, for a majority of your day, spend with somebody that you know you don't like like that, that you are kissing ass to get a promotion that she may never get, that she might lose to somebody that is an inexperienced bitch that literally didn't have the qualifications that you have only to get the job that you wanted because that person kissed the right person's ass. <laughs> I had a feeling today, like I was walking with my, my I just got my dad's stuff back today from his, um, uh, when he died and they just gave, gave me his stuff back. And, um, yeah, I just had this feeling like I was back on the sunshine coast when I was 20, 21. So that's how I'm feeling. This old thing. Nice. I gotta leak you. I, I, I had bust out laughing when dude joined that thing and just licked the phone. He did. He did. He did this. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And you look like you bored like I'm bored. Hell yeah, I'm bored. What you do? What you do? <laughs> Same thing you do? I'm working a detail right now, dude. Detail. Bored as hell. Where you a at? Red light. Oh, my bad. Are you good? That's better. LED? I can't see it so that should have been a multi panel. Oh, yeah. Doing a family. Oh, He's in a family. Oh, you're not in the family? I don't know about all that or whatever. You say you don't know about all that. Join our family. How you do that? Oh, Lord. Are you new? Yeah, very much so. Officer, send him an invite. It's like a, it's like a join the family kids. type thing? We have a mixture. Oh, uh, let me see how you do this shit. Oh, I found it. I got it. I fixed it. Commission this girl, here, here, this girl want to talk uh, to you. Who that? I don't know. She want to talk Join to you. her goddamn family. She is the motherfucking police. Hey, what? You see our cracked pink toenails. Oh. And her best friend. Can you, can, you, can, you, can you suck this girl toes and dick her down? Because she's a little cranky. Mm. In the police force? Oh, that's a uh -huh. real police officer? Yeah, why are you playing? <laughs> yeah, now, the, you, you, suck, you suck her toes and dick her down? <laughs> Y'all not the police? That's crazy. He the police, for real? Yeah, I'm the police. I'm the real police, yes. Oh, you know I like that bitch, huh? All she do is <laughs> run around, ride around and pop <laughs> tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. See, Mark, I'm supposed to have this on. I just don't got this on. Wait, what? What's your name? Next. You talking about hey, her? Yo. Oh, my you dear. You talking about her? You found your house? Hey, yo. You said what? Did you find you a house? Did you find you some new damn toes? Get down. Trying to troll me. Man. Not the toes. No, she mean that hoe needs some dick down her throat. Don't, want it here, huh? don't come back up here. <laughs> your your lie be hilarious. All right, my love. She like me. Hey, hello, what's up? Uh huh. <laughs> Block fucking disconnect game, strong as a motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jesus it's on. Christ. It's on. Jonathan, what you want? No, that's amazing. We're going we gonna to take her to uh, Bissonette. 
That's annoying. We're gonna leave home yeah, bitching it. <laughs> Man, ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm dead. Hey, your, your people, your people don't be tripping about you being in uniform and doing this shit. She already. She was in my live yesterday. My supervisor. Oh. Uh, hey, hella strict yeah. over here, especially my, especially my shirt. That boy be losing it. This is mine. Okay, what about now? You gotta hear me now? Hold on, I gotta uh I gotta do my report and I gotta um charge my phone, but I'm not gonna charge it in the car. We'll take it inside. 
this card. Oh, the cards. I'm going to try I gotta do these reports. But I get fired. Hold on, y'all. We're going in and out. Can you still hear me? Yeah. This damn gate's stupid. What is hell? Wait, I don't know. <laughs> I hope this bed takes work. Most of the world is just been sitting. Yeah. We got. Uh, I have a red flag because I'm white. <laughs> what? I have a red flag because I'm white. I like white boys, white men. I'm mm -hmm. just telling that because you you skip like three guys that were white, even whiter than me. So. <laughs> so how are you doing? What's up? Finally. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my second red flag is that I smoke cigarettes. So. I did you, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, can oh. you hear me? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just want to tell you, uh, you're beautiful. Every everybody knows that, but I am from Curacao. You know where's Curacao at in the where Caribbean? I'm from the Pacific Ocean, so I don't even know where a lot of stuff is. I haven't been on the land lately. You don't know so the Caribbean? No, where's that? At? Caribbean? You don't know where's the Caribbean? The ABC oh, Islands? Yes, yes. Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao, Saint Martin. Yeah. Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, yeah. I know what they Okay, so now you know. Where are you from? You are from the U.S., right? Or not? No, I'm from the waters. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So now you know. If you want to Google, you just Google Caribbean Curacao. Oh, okay. I'm watching from far away, like... Maybe 45 minutes right now. I was trying to comment, but you don't like read the comments, you know. But I understand. Not me busting down the thing I'm doing. That's why I heard Do something. It. I swear I heard something. What? I thought I heard something. Okay, look, my English is not perfect because I come from the Caribbean and where I live, we speak or we talk like uh, five languages. So, yeah, I try my best. 
And uh, yeah, um, I just want to introduce myself. My name is G. I'm one uh, one of the most uh, known DJs in the Caribbean. So when you come to the Caribbean, if you come to the Caribbean to the ABC Islands, you just let me know. Okay. I can hook you up to all the past parties. So oh, you know. okay. I'm coming. So if you get the chance, you can follow me back and you will see I can send all my videos as a DJ, you know, yeah. parallel, parallel connections with uh, international artists also. So that's it. I just wanted to talk with you. Okay, okay. I got you. I'm going to come up there. I was seeing your life, your life on Beagle for like a couple of days. And I just take the courage to, you know, talk with you. So, yeah. Okay, okay. I got you. I got to do these scans, though. We're going uh, in and out. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear you. We had J3s in. I know. Like, what the fuck is going on? We have Fatty House. What the fuck is she talking about? What the fuck is going on, too? What's up, cousin? No, I will say my house, but my shit is little. Like, too, like, too it's not like Fatty. My new house ain't like my old house. It's little. It's not. We're from Ohio. We big old. Big pressure. Uh, I mean, if we just have anything, it's not like me. But everybody, how it used to be, it ain't big enough for that now. Oh, I down right now. Huh? ain't big enough for y'all. Y'all better stop biting your lips. Cause I put both of y'all. Detroit ain't too far. Detroit ain't too Freshman year, motherfucker. Never. Yeah, talk about, talk about it. Don't do that. Talk about it. Here you go, man. Don't do that. Just, talk about that me, motherfucker, I never. This motherfucker said since freshman year. Nigga. Never. Hold on, hold on. Come here, come here. I gotta talk to you outside of the camera. Come here. It ain't a I gotta say one thing. You should have. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I said it tonight. I said it. I did too. Damn. I did too. Fuck. I ain't even told her too. I said, bitch. I said, I really had a word, but I ain't gonna take it. Bitch. I'm gonna let it ride. I'm gonna let it ride. You know, kids is the shit. I'm gonna let it ride. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm really like that. Right. Yeah, I'm no so different from what you're used to. No, nah, you play that shit so crazy. I'm in the same boat as you. Mom, how you could be so pretty and so, so like that? Yeah, you just don't know. Put it down my throat. Hey, Wendy. 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 Wait, nay. Word. Cut for the yours. Hold on, I gotta look at my pineapple juice. I can't pour shit in her mouth. Here, pour it in my mouth. I'm not pouring it in your mouth. Word. Hey, Queen, where you at? Hey, Queen, where you at? Where you at in Ohio? You spend the night? Who are you at? What the fuck is crazy? I did. They don't do it. Hell yeah, I'm drunk, nigga. Columbus. Hey, the big bus. Where you at in Columbus? We come down here. 
We on LGBTQ Betty season motherfucker four. Make sure y'all subscribe to True Color Network. My nigga on Ohio Baddies. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe with them. Don't fucking play with me, nigga. We do big things around this motherfucker. Big things around this motherfucker. Said I'm not your average stud, little nigga. Take a baddie shot. Hey, Whitney. Hey, you want to this on No. Wow. Hey, catch me on Zeus. You ain't got to say it so loud. How loud do you want to be? Catch me on Zeus. Back in East Audition. How loud she want to be, cuz? I'm the reason why Saya got on that motherfucker. Ask her how loud she want to be, cuz. I feel like she want to cut the whole bar. I'm the reason why Saya got on that bitch, man. That's my thing. You over there telling him our wait, wait, wait. Why are you telling him our business? They hear you asking it's our business. Do it. That sounds so dirty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you keep talking about this baddies of Las Vegas, nigga, man. I salute you, but fuck Las Vegas. I be showing you. Well, I mean, it's a dog. Hey, she's so crazy, man. You, 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 wait till you meet her ass and she jump up on the line. She ain't crazy. No, that bitch is nuts. Man, you aren't ready for what I got to say. That's all I do. I love Ivory too, though. That's my name. I love me. I love Ivory. I love Nas. I love Leo. Even though that hoe mad at me. I had to pull up all them. I got to I gave her that good dick. Now she mad at a nigga. I said, well, Ivy, what's the address? She said, Fatty, pull up. No, I ain't from Memphis. I'm from Ohio. On oh, my soul. On oh, my soul. What'd you say, Mo? What? On oh, my soul. Yeah. Fatty, Fatty, follow Mookie. Oh, my God. <laughs> fuck that. I don't let y'all fuck that. I got y'all fuck that. Yeah. I'm on the phone, too, nigga. Uh, Drop that bag on the nigga. My bad. I think my head is choking. Who the fuck? Straight like that. Oh, hey, cuz. Cuz. Good. Mookie, I'm drunk. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't play at work. It's crazy. Yeah, they kicking us out, huh? Yeah. Let me finish you. They kicking us out, cuz? Go ahead. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, I'm a host. Big host. J3, fuck with me. Make sure I tune in. We on that season four. You I know. That's why. I am lit. What up, I love you. I like you too. Make sure you're safe. Drive safe. I love you. I'm not driving either. I'm not driving either. Nigga turn with no music. She don't make verse. Hold on, y'all. That's my 
Y'all drop a bean and don't be fucking mean, man. Lorraine fucking County, we put on for Ohio. Northeast to be exact. I'm sick of this shit that you playing. You play. <laughs> hey, Lake Erie right down the street. Water. I need some water. But what's that? Ice water. It's fuck. I know she's so bad. Ohio weak. Nigga, you weak. Fuck is you talking about? Natty? What up, Dior? You ready? To leave. You ready to get the fuck up out of here? Where we going? I'm coming too. Dating? Ooh. They ain't dating. Y'all down there in that southern part. Y'all down there in that white on. Hey, y'all down there in that how much to turn this white only pie in a nigga pie. I'm so I'm so I know. Drop that car Please. on me. Love you, baby. First of all, you know what's so crazy, my man? Hey, bro. I've been tripping the fuck out of these niggas, man. Who her friend? Who her friend? Hey. Damn, you got a cam up, man. You up here, you got a cam up. No, I'm not. I'm not finna come up in the bed. You said you ain't what? I said I'm in the bed. So you came up here not to cam up? I look like my bitch. I, 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 I ain't said that it's not true. I just said Kim. Why I got a cap up right now, Jay? Why not? It's a come up, Kim up. <laughs> like, what? What you mean you come in? You let go Kim up, man? Kim up. I came up here to say that you feel it. You feel that liquor? I can hear you all on your face. Definitely, definitely doing it. It's uh. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm driving. Turn your light on. Fuck you talking about? Turn that light on, man. Turn that brightness up. Yeah, some of that. That way. Play some goddamn Hey, hey, that's all you. Hey, that's all you, ain't it? That's all you, ain't it? Ooh. Hey, d hey, don't play with him. She get on my fucking nerves, bro. Don't play with him. She get on my fucking nerves. She said, she said I ain't bald headed, bitch. Yeah. It's a play so fucking much, man. I swear to God, she plays so Because they don't know. They don't know I'm really going to make you mine in real life. See, you brought me up here. You know what I'm going to say. So I'm coming to Ohio to get what I want. Don't be coming up here. So, so, so why you ain't here yet, then? Cause I go to school. I, I, I gotta give it to you though. I gotta give it to you. She said she was, yeah, I go to school, but I'm coming. And I got. You said she in school? Yeah, she in school. I got a friend for your friend. What you in school for? Cosmetology and esthetician. Okay, okay. Okay then, baby. I'm a little educated myself. Man, y'all got me. I don't got no lashes. Well, I'm not. Makeup I'm a free nigga. I don't got no lashes. No makeup. I might be a little more educated, free nigga, but I'm a, hey. I'm a free nigga. Straight, straight free nigga. Hey. I mix, I mix a little street smart with a little book smart. You feel me, baby? I was always book smart. I feel you, baby. I, I got my little bachelor's or whatever. Nigga, I put, hey, y'all, hey, wait. Slight work. Hey, y'all, why I had to put a nigga down tonight? Look, y'all. Oh, yeah, where is my phone? Boo, bitch. Who? Who did that, though? One more time. J3. Bitch. 
Nigga, I really knock shit out in real hey. life. Fuck they talking hey. about. Hey, tell that, tell that bitch to put her guard up next time. Like, she Me might want to, like, she might want to, like, she might want to, goddamn, something. Anything but that. She might want to. Damn. Hey, did you even peep the bitch? Nigga, I knock bitches right. out in real life. Why you do her like that? Big nigga, I feared the bitch actually. If you want to be technical, I feared her. Why you do her like that? My, I, that, that's a different time, different day. I ain't doing that all on here. I ain't doing Y'all wanna see day three? Y'all wanna see day three and it's a dodge? They about to crack the fuck up in these comments. Yeah, 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 nigga. Like, don't be no haters, y'all. Don't be no haters. My pussy looks so I knock bitches out. Don't be no haters. Look at this. I knock bitches out in real life, nigga. One Because I'm not a hater. Hey, I'm not a hey, hater. Hey, hey, I support. Hey, Where your bitches at, though? Hey, wait. I'm, I'm laughing. Not a hater. Hey, this motherfucker said, What up, AJ? Hey. Or you wouldn't even care much. They made it more different. Knock me out, bitch. I'm, your camera. I'm waiting for a bitch to knock me out. Where is and I ain't bitch at these days. Hey. You know I am. On my show. On my ride. You hella mad. You hella mad. Coming from the bitch that wanted to turn her camera. Hey, Winnie. Daddy, you so fine. It's an angel. You should tell him what? I love you so much. I got I ain't doing shit. I don't know. I'm at a fuck I ain't doing a Thank you, boo. Where is your way? Where are you going? I'm sitting in my car. I was smoking. I'm at my best friend's house and she was smoking her house. I'm finna go home, though, to my house. Yeah. You wanna come? You want to come home to my house? You funny as fuck. Do I want to come home? To my house. Yeah. I got my own home. Okay, Smoke. well, we will have two homes. Smoke! Two is better than one. I got a piss, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you got a piss, nigga. I got a piss. I'm going to keep your viewers occupied while you use the bathroom. I got a piss. She got to pee, y'all. It's so fuck, fuck, man. They want me to follow them. Who is that? I don't know. Follow them. They ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> what? Follow them. <laughs> Why would I follow them? I don't even... I don't want to follow them. Fatty Kid K. Fatty Kid K. Everybody on my motherfucking live. Make sure y'all go follow on me, man. How you follow her? Everybody go follow my nigga, man. And bro, talk to them real quick, cause I gotta take a leap. You act like you are. Okay, like, yo, I say leap like I got to break. What's up, bitch? He a driver right now. What's up, friend? What's up, friend? What you doing? Hey, I was about to get, my ride was about to leave me. I had a slide. You had to go, huh? Yeah. They was about to leave my ass. I was about to. Friend, so I just want you to know that you might as well get real acquainted with me because I'm coming for J3 and I'm not letting the, you know, in the comments, they can hate all they want to, but it is what it is, you know? So you ain't letting up on my nigga? No, I'm not letting up. That's going to be hey. mine. And I bet you. Hey, my nigga, hey, she, no homo. My nigga is fine or whatever, so I guess I can't even be mad at you.
Yeah. You're not too bad just for some dough. I got, I got a bread for you. Well, thank you. I got a few, actually. I ain't going to lie. You know, I got a lineup you could pick. Man, listen. I just need you to tell your friends to go vote for me on the Baddies House Ohio. Vote for you. Oh, oh, like, hey, How do they do vote for you? We they just gotta go to the page. Cause we be doing okay. events. We just be doing events and stuff. So look, our next event is on March 16th. I'm gonna be butt ass naked and body painted. Ooh, where that's gonna be at? Hey, bro, you're not doing that shit without me on my mama. I don't do the fuck. We gonna have to tell cream. I'm on my way. And when they, they they ask him when do the show air? Shit, we uh we we in the middle of filming right now, so. Oh, y'all still know. filming? Yeah, we still filming right now. Yeah, our show supposed to drop next month. Man, shut the fuck up. We talking about y'all. Why are you hating on me? Don't do that. That's not you. You know what I ain't. Mean. You really never do. Hey, that's funny. Yeah. Like, it don't even hit you. Y'all make sure y'all go motherfucking subscribe to wherever the fuck the baddies of Las Vegas is. <laughs> I was EP, you feel me? I was the boss. You feel me? I was the cast. That was just heavy. Yeah, boss. I was just in Vegas last week. I got it. Well, now the next time you come to Vegas, you know, call. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not calling unless I get my ticket. What do you want? You can have you, you kept talking about all this motherfucking money you dropping in person. You don't tell me to pull up if there ain't no ticket. <laughs> oh baby, there's gonna be some chicken for sure. I'm by my bread. You want some hot sauce? Do I like hot sauce? A sriracha. <laughs> sriracha. <laughs> you are so funny. I ain't even button my belt or anything. I walked out that bed for like this. Where you what about to go, fuck? bro? A bitch, I'm pulling up for your wife. With your belt undone like you just got your dick. That's crazy. Girl, I know, bro. I'm... Where you about to go, bro? I'm about to pull up in your driveway, bitch. That gangsta gut. Gangsta gut like a motherfucker. Hey, hey, I'm still, hey, I'm still across the street. Bitch, where? I'm over here in this parking lot. Tell your right. You right across the street in the parking lot, or you in uh Nettie's parking lot? No, like if you come out the parking lot and go right. You come to the front. Right. The Puerto Rican bar. Right. Oh yeah, I have that with him. Oh, then we over there. Hey, pull next door. What's this? What's No, no, no. Look, she bringing me to you. What? You, you, want me take you, you, want, you want me to take you home, nigga? Yeah, I'm going to just have to have a Oh, yeah, definitely. Y'all yeah, can do that. I'm in the back yeah. of the thing. Like, hey, hey, y'all want to hit this? Right here with it. Man, stop fucking playing with me, nigga. Pull up. Fatty about to pull up. Y'all see me? <laughs> it's not really not. Oh, no, bitch, that's Fatty. Bitch, God. I'm not, I'm not bitches out in real life. You keep saying that. I'm about to send you this video. I just knocked the bitch out tonight. I want to see. I just knocked the bitch out tonight. I First of all, I smacked the bitch like a hoe. Then I knocked the bitch out. I, I'm going to send it to you, though. That's insane. Smacked her like a hoe. I smacked that bitch like a hoe. Like the hoe she was acting like, huh? And then I knocked that bitch out. For playing with you. I don't play like that. I really... Don't even so play like crazy, that. Cause really, I really am that nigga. Like, I'm really that nigga bitch at that. I know, baby. You don't got to like, tell me. Tell niggas, niggas, niggas really, in my 